Welcome back everyone. Drew here, beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. I know I've been neglecting this channel a bit. I can't be doing that and I apologize because sometimes you guys, um, you know, I get questions. Where's your next beer review or this or that? I know I'm doing a lot of beer reviews lately. That's going to change soon too. Amber and I are trying to figure out some challenges to get out there for you guys. I'm looking into a new camera too so that I can start editing blah 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 also get the girls tomorrow for a couple of days do my christmas with them can't wait so i'm probably going to do a vlog of some sort with my girls tomorrow um i got beer mail coming soon that's cool um i can't wait to get that uh also yeah that's about it and like i said today i got uh i got about 80 to 85 beers 90 beers to review and i keep bringing them in and Amber's starting to say, hey, can you not put them in the fridge, please? Because the bottom of the fridge is already full. I had to take out 30 of them yesterday to put a turkey in the fridge. So, yeah, I, I understand. I'm a little obsessed with craft beer. So, and then I got I got uh, this beer review. And then <clears throat> I got, I think I'm going to do a, a cider. I haven't done a cider in a while. I'm going to do that after. And I have a comparison. So I'm going to do upload a couple more videos today. I have a comparison of two beers. I've already put on this channel, but I haven't had them side by side. So I'm going to do a comparison later on too. Anyways, for the beer I got for you today is uh, a classic. I love it. It's it's great. Uh, it, it's from Amsterdam Brewery. Amsterdam Good Beer. Some people like it. Some people don't. But what I got for you today, and it's uh, 335 at the LCBO, so it's it's not overly priced. Is uh, from Amsterdam Brewery Space Invader IPA, uh, six percent alcohol. Uh, uh, prepare yourself for the invasion of cosmic flavor. The sky is the limit, only for those who aren't afraid to look up. Defend yourself, Amsterdam good beer. Amsterdam Brewery has been brewing top quality beer since the. Uh, inception in 1986 so they've been out there I said Waterloo Brewery uh, it was 1984 first Ontario's craft brewery Amsterdam's up there 1986 I believe 1988 is when Great Lakes Brewery opened so those breweries right there have been open for a long time and they're making fantastic beers all right so uh, this India pale ale and golden color and Offers an intense nose of grapefruit, pith, pineapple, green tea, and hops. The palate is dry and medium bodied, followed by zesty acidity on a long, long finish. Enjoy with fish and chips with a lemon wedge. Well, there you go. I should be having fish and chips. I don't know what I'm doing for. Oh, I might have some steak tonight. Why not? All right, I know. Everyone's like, what about your cholesterol? Well, you know what? It's just the holidays. I want to do me for once. All right? I want to do me and what I enjoy. And, you know, I'm off for today and tomorrow and then we're three and off three. I want to enjoy me for a week. Is that too much to ask? I don't know. But that's me. Anyways, let's get into this. Okay, guys? I don't want to keep rambling on. Space Invader. Already smelled a pineapple and a grapefruit rail in a can. I can't wait to get into this. I do like this. I know a few people that don't like this. I know a few people who like, no, no, they, 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 it's not for them. And that's cool. Not every beer is for everyone. Like a lot of people, not in IPAs. This is 60 IBU. Um, what else is it? I'm going to, oh yeah, 3.64 L5. With over 11,000 uh, ratings on untapped. So, you know, it's up there. It's a little better than the comparison I'm going to be doing later. But, you know what? I need to get the comparison over with. To get that out of the fridge too. So now I'm just trying to get beers out of the fridge. So I can make room for no more, some more beers. Yeah? Like beer delivery coming tomorrow. Or Tuesday. And then... I got flying monkeys delivering some beer within a week. Oh man, Amber's gonna kill me. Anyways, grapefruit, pineapple. This is green tea. I don't get no 
screen tea in there. But let's get into 6% alcohol. It's a Sunday. I think I'm going to enjoy some beers today. I'm not working tomorrow. I'm just picking up the girls. That's it. All right. So it's 60 IBU. It is a little bit more on the hoppy side, but I like mine between 30 and 70. This is just a little higher. I, I love it. Don't get me wrong. It's smooth. It goes down good. A little bit of pineapple. Grapefruit. I get no of this tea crap that they're talking about. But then I'm not a tea drinker. So, you know, um, this is very, very um, nice. It's a very nice beer. Uh, for $3.35, uh, you just want a good tasting IPA. Go get yourself a Space Invader. And Space Invader is a, a beautiful IPA for even a sunny day in the backyard. This is uh, released all year round. Go out in the backyard on a sunny day. It's 6%. It's not too hoppy. It's actually a nice summer beer. Yeah, it, 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 it's a little hop. Like, it's beautiful. A little bit of lacing there. Uh, they, they made a good job with this. And apparently they're... Uh, Trying to sell this, Amsterdam's trying to get this right out to like all Canada. I was, I was reading up a little bit. They're trying to get it out everywhere. This is going to be their beer, I think. And I, like I said the other day, I did Fracture. Excellent, excellent. But that's a hoppy bastard, right? Don't mind me shaking the thing. Oops. Oh, I could buy it right now. <laughs> oh, I got to stop buying beer from the breweries. That gets a little pricey. Anyways, my rating on this, one more sip. Seven, nine. It's not the best IPA. It's not the worst. Once it hit the eights, that's the way to go. Seven, nine, it's just not quite there to the eight, which is fine, which is fine. But I will go to the liquor store and I will pick up two of these and have them in my fridge for when I don't want to do a review. I will have... A couple of these sitting there, excuse me, if I just want to pour an IPA and have an IPA, watching a bit of football, not worrying about my channel. That's what this is for. To enjoy life and not worry about life. Not worry about the stress in life. This is just to have a damn good beer that's sitting in the fridge waiting for you to drink it. 7, 9 out of 10. Like, comment, and subscribe. I said I have a comparison after. I'm looking forward to that comparison. You guys may not, but I am because it's two beers that I used to drink all the time. And I have two more of them sitting in the fridge and I just, I want to compare to see which one is actually better. So if I actually do purchase it later, that's what I'm going to do. Also, a cider I've never had before. I'm looking forward to that one. I'm sorry for ne neglecting you guys. I promise a video every day. Well, you know, like I said, it, it's Christmas time. Yesterday, I wanted to get this one done. But things happen. But I promise I'll be paying more attention to you guys for now on. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later on. Cheers.